So let us study the voltage divider bias. Voltage divider bias is yung circuit natin or biasing technique natin na beta independent. Okay, unlike the fixed bias which is beta dependent, Voltage divider bias is beta independent. Makikita nyo mamaya sa solving kung bakit natawag to na beta independent. Okay? Ang isang voltage divider bias po ay tinawag na voltage divider dahil may dalawa ka dito ang resistor na voltage divider. Okay? Pero higher electronics na po yun. Okay? So... At the same time, voltage divider bias is the most stable type of biasing technique but remember, it has the least or the least gain. It is the most stable. Okay? So let us try to solve this problem. So what I'm going to try to solve here is a voltage divider bias. Ngayon, Kung kanina sa fixed bias, wala to, tsaka shorted to, sa emitter stabilized, nagkaroon to ng resistor, sa voltage divider bias, meron na din tayo dito ng resistor. Bakit po ba tinawag itong voltage divider bias? Kasi po, itong dalawang resistor na to ay nagpo-form ng isang voltage divider. Kaya ang tawag dito ay voltage divider bias. Okay. Most of the references, ang terms na nandito sa resistor na to ay R1 at ang nandito ay R2. Kaya lang po, madami sa mga nag-aaral ay nalilito kapag wala na yung tularan. Hindi na nila alam kung sino si R1 at si R2. Kaya ako, yung ginawa ko, yung nasa taas, pinangalanan ko siyang R upper at yung nasa baba, pinangalanan ko siyang R lower. Kasi wala na pong malilito kung alin si low at alin si up. Tama po ba? Lower, nasa baba. Upper, nasa taas. Okay. Paano po ba isosolve ang isang voltage divider bias? There are two ways. The exact analysis and the approximate analysis. And ang ituturo ko muna sa inyo ay ang exact analysis. Sa exact analysis, itong side ng circuit na ito ay papalta natin ng kanyang Thevenin's equivalent circuit. Review, a Thevenin's equivalent circuit ay isang circuit kung saan in series ang voltage supply at ang resistor. So, meron kang ETH or Thevenin's equivalent voltage at meron kang RTH or Thevenin's equivalent resist, uh, resistance in series. Norton's naman pag may current source ka tsaka resistor in parallel. Pero kapag ganyan, ETH po ang gagawin natin. Um, Thevenin's equivalent circuit. So, kailangan mong ETH, kailangan mong RTH, saan ka kukuha? Formula lang po yun. RTH is parallel equivalent ng R upper tsaka R lower, while ETH is voltage divider lang. That is VCC or yung supply voltage mo times R lower all over R upper plus R lower. At kung kukuhain natin si ETH, that is 22 times 3.9 all over 39 plus 3.9 or this is equal to 2 volts. Next, with RTH, ipaparallel mo lang po si 39 kilo ohms kay 3.9 kilo ohms at ang makakuha mo dyan ay 3.54 kilo ohms. Okay? And then, ilagay mo na yung value sa ating converted na circuit. ETH is 2 volts. VCC is 22 volts. RTH is 3.54 volts. Ah, 3.54 kilo ohms. Okay? Ang nadaan pa din po sa side na ito, dahil siya ay base, ay base current. Ang nandito pa din po ay si collector current. At ang nandito pa din po ay si emitter current. Meron ka pa din ditong voltage drop na 0.7 volts. Okay? And then KKBL lang tayo. Ano nga lagi yung una natin nakukuha ang current? Si base current po. Okay? So, 2 minus 
3.54 kilo ohms na ang nadaan dyan ay si IP minus 0.7 voltage drop dito minus 1.5 kilo ohms na ang nadaan ay si IE ang nadaan ay si IE tama po ba? pero nalaman natin kanina that IE is beta plus 1 IB In this case, beta is given, that is 100. So, 100 plus 1, that's 101 IB. Idiretso ko na po dito na 101 IB. Bagsak tayo si ground equal to 0. At ano yung makukuha nating IB? micro amperes. Gusto kong kuhain si IC, gamitin ko lang yung dinerive natin kanina na beta IB. So that is 100 times 8.38 micro amperes and IC is equal to 0.8385 milli amperes at kung gusto kong kuhain si IE, gamitin ko lang to 101 IB, 101 times 8.38 microamperes, and IE is equal to 0.8385. zero point eight four six eight milli amperes. So kapag merong ka ng tatlong current na yan, pwede nung mo nang makuha si VB na nandito, si VE na nandito, at si VC na nandito. At kapag meron ka ng VB, VC, VE, pwede mo na ding makuha si VCE, pwede mo na ding makuha si VBC. Do not forget, that VCE ay equal sa VC minus VE VBC ay equal sa VB minus VC Okay? Ganun lang po So this is how you're going to solve a voltage divider circuit Again, kailangan mo muna i-convert ang input side sa kanyang Thevenin's equivalent circuit Kukuha ka ng ETH at ng RTH ito ang formula na ETH at ni RTH. Tapos lagay mo na lang yung values doon. Mag-KDL ka na, makukuha mo na po si IB. Ganun lang po kadali. Para mas gumaling, kailangan mong mag-practice ng mag-practice ng mag-solve ng madaming circuit. So next video, ipapakita ko sa inyo paano natin ito isasolve using approximate analysis. At i-compare ninyo ang value ni IE dito sa exact analysis at value ni IE doon mamaya sa approximate analysis. Okay guys, so copy, sample, problem. So after solving this circuit using exact analysis, It is the time that we're going to solve this for approximate use uh, approximate analysis. In approximate analysis, uh, there is a condition that you need to satisfy. And what is that condition? Kailangan mong isatisfy kung ang beta RE is greater than or equal to 10R2. At kapag nasatisfy mo yan, pwedeng approximate analysis yung gamitin mo. Pero ako, ang lagi ko namang ginagamit is exact analysis para doon na tayo sa exacto. Pag doon sa approximate lang. Okay? Pero still, tuturo ko pa din sa inyo to. Beta RE is greater than or equal to 10R2. Okay? So, your beta is 100. That your RE is 1.5 kilo ohms. Is it greater than or equal to 10R2 times 3.9 kilo ohms? So, 100 times 1.5 kilo ohms, that is 
50 kilo ohms is it greater than or equal to 10 times 3.9 And since it is greater than the beta RE than the 10 R2, satisfied, pwede na tayong mag-proceed sa approximate analysis. So, the step 1 is to determine this condition. Step 2, get the value of VB. The value of VB is simply VCC times R lower, all over, R lower plus R upper. Kung napansin niyo, parang ito lang din yung ETH natin. ba? So, that is 22 times 3.9 all over 39 plus 3.9. And nakuha natin kanina, that is 2 volts. Okay? Next, guys. Isa pang approximation natin na paulit-ulit kong sinasabi VBE is 0.7 volts. ba? Okay? So, first step satisfy this condition. Second step, get VB. Third step, determine the value of VBE or approximate it to 0.7 volts. Four, determine the value of VE so, paano natin makukuha si VE? Di ba nga, VBE is equal to VB minus VE. Tama. So, transpose ko lang si VE, makikita ko that VE is VB minus VBE. Makukuha ko na si VE. So, si VE is 2 minus 0 0.7 or simply 1.3 volts. Yan po yung value ni VE. Fifth step, get val the value of IE. IE is simply VE over RE. So, that's VE, 1.3 volts all over 1.5 kilo ohms. Zero point eight six six seven milliamperes. Kung ikaw compare niyo sa value natin kanina, hindi naman po masyadong malayo. Kaya nga po approximate analysis lang tayo. Sa approximate analysis din, ang value po ni IC is approximately equal to IE. So IC is approximately zero point eight six six. 7 milliamperes. Okay? Isa pang bagay na kailangan yung mapansin dito, nung nag-solve ba tayo, huwag yung isama tong sa approximate analysis, step uh, 2 hanggang dito sa step 5, nakita nyo ba na gumamit tayo ng beta sa pagsisolve? Huwag yung isama tong sa, sa, sa ating condition na May beta ka bang ginamit sa step 2, 3, 4, 5? Wala po, ba? Kaya sinabi na ang isang voltage divider circuit ay beta independent. Kasi pwede kang makapag-solve kahit wala si beta. Kaya lang, applicable nga lang si approximate analysis kung if and only masasatisfy mo tong condition na to. Pero huwag kayong ma-stop dun sa fact na ay paano ko masasatisfy yan kung hindi ako gagamit ng beta ay eh, di hindi pala yan beta independent. Hindi po. Eh, please. Dito ka tumingin sa ibang steps. Wala kang ginamit dun na beta. Unlike dun sa ibang circuit, kapag walang beta, hindi ka po makakasol. Okay? Kasi wala silang approximate analysis. Ang may approximate analysis lang again ay si voltage divider bias. Okay? So, I hope this is very clear to you. So, copy your notes and just comment down kung meron kayong questions. Okay? So, copy.